Battery testing is fun. This one's gonna be a trip right here. Check this out right here. I gotta get out of the way. I gotta sit on the back already. That is a Power Queen 12.8 volt, 190 amp hour battery. I'm starting this at the beginning of December and I suspect it's gonna take until Christmas to, uh, to get the test on this battery done. So I might as well start now because uh, yeah, this is gonna, <laughs> it's gonna be a, I'm gonna have to hit pause for a long time in this video. Ham Radio 2.0 reviews news and how-tos of things that are new in Ham Radio. Guys, battery testing is something I started a couple months ago. I really enjoy it. And uh, all the companies reaching out to me via email or through Amazon and asking me to test batteries, I'm happy to test anything. Okay, but if you're going to send me a junk battery, just be aware that I'm going to I'm going to give it an honest test. Not that this one is. Power Queen's actually got a really good reputation. I've seen uh, several other YouTubers post about Power Queen batteries. I watched a couple of videos about their products on other uh, YouTube channels outside of the amateur radio realm. And from what I can tell so far, they get a very good reputation. I'm looking forward to reviewing this battery and uh, letting you guys see what the results are. If we go over here right there. I have plugged it up to the CBA5 software from West Mountain Radio. I clicked on detect and it detected, it only detects voltage in cells. It never detects this uh, capacity, amp hour capacity correctly. So I'm going to put 190 there. It detected this battery at 14.0 volts. 14 points. A lot of these uh, batteries that have been sent to me are 12.8 volts because there are four cells at 3.2 to 4. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> four cells at 3.2 volts per cell. So you put four of them together, you get 12.8 volts. Okay, now the charging capacity and the di discharge capacity may be a little bit different than that, but they're usually rated at 12.8 volts. This one right here is being detected at 14.0 volts, volts. So I don't know what that means. Again, the cutoff right here is right in the center of the screen. We're gonna cut it off at 10 amps and the test amps is gonna be one and we're gonna see how that goes. So no amplifier. So once I click start here, we're gonna see behind us where it's gonna actually start. Starting right at 14. Oh, it's go. It's it's following the line. You can see the 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 red mark right there, following the line at 14.0 volts. And now we have to wait until 2023 to see the results of this 190 amp hour battery test. Stick with me. Wow, that uh, that took forever. <laughs> I had to restart this test three times. One time was a Windows update. Thank you, Windows. Thank you, Microsoft, for updating while I have a freaking test running. All you Mac users, come on with the comments. It's all right. Put your Windows hatred comments below. It's fine. Windows is not great anyway. But I just restart the test three times. I think the second time it just lost connection for some reason. I was trying FT8 one time, and I think it lost connection, so I refrained from using FT8 for a while anyway. The results of the test are very positive. Okay, this is a 190 amp hour Power Queen battery. You can find the links to this battery below. Comes in at a rating of 193.978 amp hours. That is 102% efficiency. Okay, comes in at 2518.2 watt hours. And the total test time was 11,638 minutes. Yep. That is why that took so long. This is definitely the biggest battery I've ever tested, but it's worth it. 193 amp hours on this battery. Very cool stuff and a great and a great battery test. Very cool stuff. So what do you think about the Power Queen? Is it too big of a battery for you? Or if not, what are you going to put it on? What are you going to put a 190 amp hour battery on? I have some plans because I have two or three batteries that are around this size. And I have kind of some plans that I want to try with them after I get done with all this testing. So what do you think I should do with these batteries after I get done testing? And what kind of field tests would you like to see? Put a comment in the video below. And thanks for watching today. If you enjoyed this video, check out the videos that are coming up over here for more about battery testing, about power testing, solar panels, and whatnot, 73.